I'm Cameron Cruz, just a normal guy with a really cool job and a passion for motorcycles. I've been all over the world, and if there's anything I've learned, there's nothing like putting American steel on American roads. Now, I'm taking you across the country to show you my favorite roads to lay under two wheels. Easily one of my top five, the Tale of the Dragon. We're talking about 318 turns and an 11 mile stretch down US 129 between North Carolina and Tennessee. The view is incredible. And you might notice a few locations from some of your favorite movies along the way. Like when Harrison Ford jumped off that dam in The Fugitive, that was here. But I'd do my best to keep your eyes on the road. The Dragon has claimed over 35 lives since 2007. And if you're fortunate enough to go down and survive it, what's left of your bike is going on the tree of shame. A little shrine that was started back in the 80s to honor those who were bitten by the dragon. This one is not for the faint of heart. The turns are tight and back to back all the way through. Once you're in, that's pretty much it. There's very little shoulder, no guardrails, and very few places to stop and turn around. It's just blind curve after blind curve until you're out. And going off that road probably means you're going off the side of the mountain. Like anywhere else, it's the other guy you gotta worry about. Drivers and riders come from across the globe to ride the Dragon for one reason and one reason only. To hit those turns at top speed and push their adrenaline through the roof. Which means every guy coming the opposite way is a roll of the dice for you. And if that wasn't enough, you still got the wildlife to worry about. On this run, my dad was trailing behind and almost hit a bear. Lucky for him, he's kind of slow. That's my dad. Hey, we all had superheroes when we grew up. That was my superhero. Like somebody lost their dog. That's a bear. <laughs> That's a bear. And then he comes around the corner and bears like in the middle of the road. On the dragon? Yeah. Oh like, man. Come around the corner and it Two came down the hill. Oh my goodness. So I had to hit the brake. <laughs> Me? I first fell in love with the dragon around the age of 10. I grew up in these mountains just off a Cherokee reservation outside Robbinsville, North Carolina. People always talked about the greatest motorcycle road known to man. Since then, I knew eventually I would come back and slay the dragon. When I finally did, I wanted the dragon all to myself. So on Christmas Day, when everyone else was drinking eggnog and unwrapping gifts, I unwrapped a little present of my own. If you're an experienced rider, don't mind heights, or a good 25 minutes of back-to-back -back turns, I'd say definitely put the dragon on your bucket list. Just do your best to keep it between the paint and your bike off the tree of shame. Down my face Alone in the dark Alone in the cell Yeah Alone on this road paint Full throttle to a lonely grave Yeah Alone in the dark Alone in the cell Carolina. <sighs> Beautiful. Good job. That's amazing. You are going crazy. Fun. Oh, by the way, uh -huh. Heaven is not a good song to listen to <laughs> when you're going down the dragon. <laughs> Old Flossie did her thing, didn't she? He did her thing. Old Flossie doing good. I'm feeling good about Flossie. 